The highest quality images are produced by optimizing many key factors. This video series will describe the nature of each image quality factor and explain how they can be measured using Imatest. Distortion is an optical aberration that alters proportions across the image plane. Its most noticeable effect is the curving of straight lines. Wide-angle and fisheye lenses tend to experience barrel distortion, in which image magnification decreases from the optical center. Telephoto and zoom lenses tend to experience pincushion distortion, where magnification increases from the center. A combination of barrel and pincushion is known as wave or mustache distortion. This is generally considered to have the most detrimental effect on subjective image quality. Distortion is particularly objectionable in architecture photography and photography used for photogrammetry, such as multi-camera calibration, mapping, or 3D capture. Manufacturers use distortion measurements to verify lens design models and develop in-camera correction algorithms. Consumers can use distortion measurements to compare lenses or apply their own corrections to make lines in a scene appear straight again. Lens distortion can generally be corrected during post-processing by resampling the image at grid locations that invert the effect of measured distortion. Imatest produces third and fifth order polynomial or arctangent tangent distortion coefficients which can be used to make this correction. Computer vision applications can use distortion corrected images for projective geometry to relate pixel locations to points in space. In some applications, distortion can be preferred, particularly in close-up action shots with a wide-angle lens. Radial geometric distortion is determined by comparing observed radial locations in an image to their ideal locations. The maximum distortion percentage is reported, with positive values indicating pincushion distortion and negative values indicating barrel distortion. Imatest also computes CPIQ quality loss scores based on known viewing conditions to determine how noticeable distortion is to human observers. SMIA TV distortion, widely used in the mobile imaging industry, is meant to convey the magnitude of distortion with a single value. SMIA TV is based on the percentage change from the projected height at the center to the projected height at the sides of the image. The SMIA TV distortion measurement can be an oversimplification when characterizing lenses with wave distortion where equal amounts of barrel and pincushion distortion can cancel each other out. Distortion can be measured using SFR Plus, ESFR ISO, checkerboard, and dot pattern test charts. For accurate distortion measurements, it is important that the target is centered and orthogonal to the optical axis of the imaging system. Alignment can be initially performed by adjusting the camera so that the target's corners are symmetrically aligned in the corners of the image. Alignment can also be verified by placing a mirror parallel to the target plane. If the camera is properly aligned, the center of the lens reflection will lie directly in the center of the image. For field of view measurements, the lens to chart distance must be entered into Imatest along with a parameter that defines chart size. To learn more about the appearance and testing process for other key image quality factors, please visit imatest.com slash IQ factors. For a free 30-day trial, please visit imatest.com slash free dash trial.